All right, so real quick, I want to point out a few things about swing trading and minor reversals and major reversals and things of that nature. So first off, let's talk about, you know, when you think about it, there's always a minor trend and a major trend at the same time. You know, for example, that would be, <clears throat> you know, here, we're possibly always in short. We get a gap. This is probably just a, ma a minor reversal. It's probably mi and always in long, but not strongly. So, therefore, the bears will need less to short than the bulls would. And second, in order for a real strong reversal to occur, you need a credible bottom, such as a wedge, large double bottom, or do you need a really strong breakout and you know something along the lines of strong breakout however it's best to you know a lot of traders will wait for the strong breakout and then they will wait to see if price will Sorry, they will wait to see the pullback because usually every strong breakout has a test, test down in this case, so breakout to the upside, breaking out of the channel, has a test down and will form some sort of higher low if it's worth it. So let's look at today and let's actually look at yesterday first and think about that. Okay, so, sorry about all this. There you go. Here's December 2nd. We're always in a short or in a bear trend. So, since we're all, you know, arguably if we're just looking at today, and let's ignore everything to the left. Decent stop entry, probably always short. Okay. Well, so far, and I really, I just wanted to lead everything. Why not? So far, at this moment, right here, we're in a bear trend. So. If we think about that, the bulls need some sort of trend line break. You know, and then arguably we have a bear trend here. But is this really a strong enough trend line break to reverse the market? Probably not. So the stop's up here. What about this? Is this really a strong trend line break? Probably not. We still have a gap. You know, the bulls need a strong trend and then test down. They didn't get it. And we're just going sideways. So then, you know, maybe now the channel's something like this. Okay, well, same thing. There wasn't really that strong of a trend line break. There was not a strong move. This is just a minor always in flip. And then we just, just got to plumb it down. So now, what about this? Well, is this a strong trend? Now, it, arguably, yes, it's a trend line break. You, know, you had some sort of bear trend channel, but there's always usually a test down. So arguably always in long, but bears will short that. And the test down was fairly strong compared to this. Now we have a double bottom, yeah, probably it's a minor reversal. You know, the bears still need more, or the, excuse me, the bulls in this case. And it just goes sideways into today. And So, point being, you know, same thing with today. We're arguably always in short still, 
Bulls need a credible bottom. They don't have it. And if they don't have a credible bottom, they need a strong breakout and then chest down. So, you know, is this is this always in long? Maybe, but still making lower highs. Lower high, possible another lower high. And another thing. Remember that an always in flip, a minor always in flip, so in this case, you know, this is always in long, arguably since here. It's probably minor and probably not going to last long. So some bears will exit and they're waiting to short. So if that's the case, you have to remember that the bulls need something really strong to scare out the bears. So the bears love seeing strong closes above the moving average, you know, towards the top. They'll short this. Here, arguably three pushes up. It's a wedge testing up here. Great place to sell. And we're back to always in short. No, still back to always in short. Arguably a double bottom. We may close the gap. Yeah, so bears will get out. And there might be a minor always in flip. So here. Yeah, but one second. So anyways, back to what we're talking about. There really has to be something strong to to change the market. So right here, if you're in the, if you were in Al's trading room, he said we're we're probably always a lot of traders will see it always in long, but the reality is they need one more bar. Well, think about it. What does Al mean? Yes, he is saying he'd rather buy than sell at this current moment. However, what does he mean by that? He means buying for a temporary always in long. You know, he doesn't mean, you know, basically here, bear bar, another bear bar. We're probably always back, we're back to always in short. It's still an always, it's still a bear trend. You can be always in long in a bear trend, and that is something that's kind of, it's easy to forget. You know, I, I forget that a lot of times as well. You know, so point being, a minor reversal usually just leads to a trading range. Think about it. Bulls gave bears gave up here, and they let the market get back to the moving average for a better place to sell. The bulls still have to show. You know, it's too late to pull back. So point being, what I'm saying is, whenever you question is it always in long here here probably not unless it's really clear it's not you know and then we just drift down so here sell bears will they get out maybe but there's probably a second leg down likely and the first first level will fail so they won't here you now will they get out here maybe they'll probably get out above here however how about this well it's always in long, yes, but where's the credible bottom? You know, there's no such thing as a B bottom. There's probably going to have to be a test of the low close, which there was. And we turned up, went back down, kind of a two-legged nested double bottom. You know, here's a high two buy, second leg pullback here, double bottom up here. Okay, swing by. Probably, you know, bears would get out always in long, however... Not clearly, you know, even here. Let's just. Yeah. Anyways. Globex hasn't really done anything yet, so. I guess the whole point, until there's a strong trend line break, there isn't really a trend line break. So, when you have a bare channel, you need a break out of the channel. And then usually a test down before it's really always in long. So just something to remember, you know. Even if there's always a test down, I guess that's what I'm saying. You know, here we have a wedge, yeah. Probably minor, always in long. We're gonna test up, but we're probably gonna test back down. And depending on how strong the test down is, is depending on the next stage of the market too strong down so we're probably going lower here so I guess 
Let's just look back on some random days. Uh, okay, so kind of we have a bull trend, a strong trend line break. However, there's usually a test to the upside. So depending on how strong this test to the upside is, is depending on how strong a bear trend we would have. You know, by the way, this has kind of been a big hint. Broke below, you know, buying pressure. Bears are making bulls are making money. So there's always a test. You know, let's look at. You know, here's something. So bear trend, strong breakouts. But we have to notice bull bars, bear bar, bull bars, bear bar, buy climax. You know, arguably three buy climaxes, bear bar. After these three bear bars, it's probably back to always in short based on all this. So even though this is strong, we may get more down. And yeah, I know this is all in hindsight, but Yeah, okay, here's a good day. This is this is sort of similar to today in a way. Bear trend. Well, is this always in long? Yeah, you can make the argument. Three pushes down, first, second, third, first, second, third, you know. Trend line break, lower low major trend reversal. However, most major trend reversals lead to uh, trading ranges, so they lead to minor reversals. So even though here, decent short, betting on the resumption of a trend. Here, minor, you know, this even. Well, is this a, oh, is this always in long? Well, arguably it is. However, there's one problem, and that problem is lower high, lower highs. Where's the trend line break? So we have a bear trend. You could say that's the trend line break. It got steeper here. Yeah, it's trend line break, and here's a pullback to a higher low. Bulls bought this because we had a bear trend, arguably trend line break, pulled back. We made this up to here, and even up to you know these lows. So one, let's find one last example, and I'll get back to what I'm talking about. Kind of like this, we have a bull. The bull trend, the bears had a decent trend line break. However, look at the reversal. You know, like, I don't even know it's to the left. But let's just bull trend. Wait, so right here, we broke below it strongly. However, you know, we had not great consecutive bars. You know, one bar doji, one bar doji, bull bar, two bars doji, best bear bars at the end, reversal bar, 60 minute moving average. Some bears will not sell this. They're going to wait for the test. They'll see, okay, we had a trend line break. Let's see what the bulls can do. And the bulls overpowered and we went sideways. So, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Not looking for something that's just yeah, Here's kind of the opposite. No, not really too strong. Yeah. Okay, so this. This is a great example right here. Bear trend. You know, minor reversals, strong trend down. We went sideways for you know like the other half the day. However, we made a new low. You know, trend line to a lower low. You know, I, I get it the price gap down and whatnot. Point being Everybody wants to see the trend line break and then see the pullback. Because any move, any major trend reversal that is worth something will have a pullback. So let's look at today for a minute. We're always in perspective, you sell here, maybe you get out. But if you get out, you sell again or here. If you buy above, taking the chance of an opening reversal, which, let's think about that for just one moment. You had no trend line break. 
so it's still always in short, so it's always favor down. So here, well, if you get out here, you have to be looking for a way to sell. Too strong, you don't sell here. Strong bars, close to the next lower high. Traders will sell this because they know the bulls have not done enough. They know that you know, the bulls really have to get above a lower high and they need strong bars. And this was kind of that bulls need a little more and they didn't get it. Here we're going sideways. Bulls needed more, didn't get it. You know, here, yes, we made a new low of the day. And yes, we went one tick above this high. Did we? No, we did not. It was perfect double top. It's still it's a minor reversal. And we just we just drifted down. So traders really need something strong, even this. Well, is this a major reversal? Probably not. It's just not. So I hope this I hope this helps somewhat. And I know I'm not I haven't been just too specific on anything. So, a lot, another thing. When you buy above something like this, put your stop down here because of this example. This low took stopped out traders that put a stop below here, but not below here. Kind of an interesting note. Second off, <clears throat> when you're in a bear trend, traders are more willing to hold through. You know, hold. Obviously, if you sell and put a stop up here, you'll be okay. Bull trend, but possibly still in a bear channel. You you have to be quicker to get out here. You know, buying here, you got to be quick to get out of here because you're still in a bear channel. So, I guess that that's really all I have to say. There's not not really too much. And uh, honestly, I'm a little tired, so that's, that's all I have for now.